Hey, how's it going folks? I hope you all are doing smashingly. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Showdown. So today we are going to be playing Monotype, as some of you may have picked up by the format box in the corner. Monotype is by far my favorite format, um, but interestingly enough, I don't see it that often on sort of the uh, mainstream communities, I guess, you know, YouTube. Discord servers, Reddit, etc. It's not actually all that popular outside of our little monotype chat room bubble on Pokemon Showdown and Smogon. So yeah, hopefully I'm going to be able to introduce some new people to monotype. Uh, I will be doing some tutorials later on, but for now it's just going to be live comms and I will be providing commentary on each team, teams on both sides, what's standard, what's not standard, what's good, what's not good. Um, some sort of different things that you see in Monotype as opposed to OU, etc, etc. So, uh, let's get started. Um, here's my team list. Um, you probably have noticed that I have a crap ton of teams because this list has been up for about 30 seconds now. I do have a team for every type. Uh, some have multiple, multiple versions of teams. Oh, um, I probably should have said this earlier, but... For those of you that are wondering, Monotype is a metagame where each Pokemon on team has to share a type. Now, it doesn't mean you'll all have to have, like, only water types, you know, Suicune, um, what other's only water types? Uh, War Turtle, I guess, is a water, like, you don't have to have water types only, but they have to all, let me just give you an example. Um, here is a Mono Fire team, right here, we got, you know, Team Builder. Here is a fairly standard mono fire team. We got Torkoal, um, Heatran, Infernape, Volcanion, Victini, and Charizard. Now each of these team members are chosen to fill specific roles, for example Hazard Setter. Um, this is to mitigate the rock weakness, etc. So they can all share, they can all have different types, different secondary typings, but they all must be fire type. So yeah, let's Let's see what happens. Fire v. Fire. Um, so what I, what I was saying was, I find Monotype to be extremely interesting because it is very matchup dependent. Um, it can be extremely difficult. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, a triple. Monotype is extremely match dependent, as I as I mentioned. However, that's not everything. I would I would equate it um, very similarly to a fighting game. Um, you know, you got a limited number of characters you can use. Um, some characters are hard counters to others. Some characters are good for different reasons, um, involving move sets, stats, etc., etc. So that's basically what Monotype is. Um, and much like other fighting games, dittos are extremely painful, so that's what we're looking at right now. Now, as it turns out, Fire v. Fire is a very hard matchup because... Actually, he probably has Mega... What the fuck? That's new. At least, I, well, at least I know it's not Z now. See, this is one of the reasons that... This is like the only thing that makes um, Fire v. Fire bearable. So if I can lay this down, then we should be good to go. This Torkoal is yawn though, I'm probably screwed. Uh, Torkoal is one of the best leads in the game, in Monotype at least. I don't see it as much as I would expect outside of Monotype. And tell you why. Anyways, uh, Mega Charizard Y is pretty good, but Mega Charizard X is generally considered to be better. It was actually banned from Monotype last generation, and the reason why is because of this. Now, given he's running Victini, and, and this is probably 
for the X version. Hey, we still killed it. We still killed it. Hits extremely hard. Uh, hitting a 538 attack after Dragon Dance, which isn't that high, but you do also get Tough Claws. Yawn. No, Toxic. That still would that still wouldn't have done anything. <laughs> You typically want to run Yawn and Torkoal because that can actually, that will, can and will force a switch unless Sleep Clause has been activated. So there you have it. Um, that may have been a Charizard Y. Um, it's good for wall breakers, but it's kind of hard to build a team around. Um, good partner for our boy Charizard X here is, uh... thanks. Good partner for our boy Charizard Y here is Volcarona. That's what you usually see, although I have chosen to run Z Stored Power Victini, or it's not sort of Z celebrate Victini instead. Yeah, thanks. Can't believe no yawn on Torkoal though. All right, so for our next match, I think we're gonna go with Dark. Uh, Dark is probably well. Aegislash is one of my favorite Pokemon, as you guys have probably figured out, but it's actually banned from Monotype. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we are going to be going with uh, with this dark team. This is a Hyper Offense dark team. The type synergy isn't amazing, as you can probably tell. But we'll see what happens. Crocodile is a suicide lead. His fire team looks actually pretty standard, except for that Alola Marowak. I don't know what he's doing there. Um, let's lay down some rocks. Um, the odds are high that this has Focus Blast, unfortunately, although I guess we'll see. Some people run Air Slash. Never mind. Hey, gotta love the extra sand stream there. Okay, let me go ahead and lay down a Calc real quick. Calc. Actually, I have it on a tab. Okay, so I'm gonna want to go for Stonage. And there he goes. Mega Tyranitar. Um, it's, th it's I think it's th it's going to be the thumbnail for the video. Uh, Mega Tyranitar is by far my favorite Mega. It's just it's so dominant. You know, whenever I see Mega Tyranitar set up, I am like quaking in my boots a little bit. Is either scarfed or just mock punch? Yeah, it's scarfed. The fuck? Whoa, that did a lot of damage. I'll take it though, I'll take it. Um, I, I am wishing I had Hydro Pump right now. Hydro Pump is pretty common on uh, non on water type Greninja. But not so much so. Not so much on uh, the other Greninja. Damn it, this is not turning out quite as well as I thought it would. Oh well. 3 3. 3 3. Um, question is can I KO with, it, with this? If this hits, it'll probably. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm thinking my play here is probably going to be to wear it down until I can get an Ice Shard off. See, because this will be useless. Yeah, th uh, this is not going to be able to take. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I do not know if we will low kick and one KO heat drain, so let's go ahead and count that real quick, just to see how fucked we are. Heat drain, I guess all especially defensive. Um, or er, er, not Tyranitar. We are looking for Weavile OU. I want to type life over dagger. 43.8% chance to one hit KO after Stealth Rock, and if it's anything less than that. For example, the Trapper set, then we will KO it after Stealth Rock. Um, hopefully this is not the specially defensive set. Yes! There we go. So generally Dark is a hard counter to fire. Um, 
Although that's why you run Scarf Infernape again. I actually I run Scarf Infernape on my fire team. He just didn't get any play last game because we kicked ass. And uh, hmm, let's go with let's go with Fairy. Fairy is by far the best type in the metagame, even after McGeerna is banned. And fighting is by far the worst. This so this should be quite the interesting round. Let's see how it goes. Iron Head Togekiss can kick ass all over a fire team, unfortunately. And here comes Mach Punch. Here comes Mach Punch. Um, yep, there it is. Uh, part of the reason is because of Scarf Togekiss. I love Scarf. I love Scarf Togekiss. So many flinches all over the place, all over that booty, flinches everywhere. Um, fighting really doesn't have a decent meta. It's just terrible. Flinch. Yes. Let's go over. Flinch. Damn it. Uh, well, we do know it's not Scarf now, because Togekiss is pretty freaking slow. So let's keep kicking ass. Uh, we do a Spore Blocker too in Bulu. Um, fighting fighting can be okay, actually. In my personal opinion, if you run the right Como O set, fighting can be okay, although the right Como O set sucks. Or is not that common. Sorry. Yeah, the right Como O set is not that common, so I guess we'll see what happens. Clefki is part of the reason that, um, what's this type, what's, or what's this, yeah, what's this team? What am I thinking of? Clefki is part of the reason that, uh, uh, that fairy is so good because it's good at screens, it's good at spikes, it's good with thunder, Jesus Christ, every time, I swear to God. There we go. Every friggin' time. Damn it! I did that. That was dumb. Let's see if I can get a horn leech off. Nope, clearly not. I can't believe I'm about to lose this extremely counter team matchup. That would be terrible. Hello, Govna. I hope he knows he can't sleep under the terrain. Question is, can I kill it with Aqua Jet? Clearly not. That was extremely unfortunate. But on the other hand, I really don't know how to play Fairy. I honestly don't get why it's good. Um, people say Fairy is by far the best team, and I really don't see it. Now, the one I do see is Water. If I had to pick a main, Water, or er, if I had to pick a main outside of Dark, I would say Water is probably my main. You can typically play water both Swift Swim and Balance. Um, this is the hardest matchup for water ever. Uh, not really, actually, because you do have uh, Greninja. And Ice Punch on uh, that other, that boy, Swamper. Anyways, I digress, as usual. Let me, let me try this. This is a fairly, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. This is a fairly standard Swiss from water team. Um, I, yeah, he's running defensive. Son of a bitch. This is a more or less straightforward Swiss from water team. Um, you got two Swiss Swimmers, Pilipper to set, and clear. You got uh, Gyarados as a set of Sweeper, Keldeo as a Wall Breaker, Greninja to dick on Grass and Dragon types. All over the place. Seriously, it's amazing. Hey, that was a nice read. Nice read. 
Um, so I'm gonna. I'm guessing this is Scarf, so I can probably get a free switch off here. There we go. Unless he Dracos, I'll be fine. If he Dracos, I'm fucked, but I do get it. Hey, I'll take that, I'll take that. That was uh, extremely fortuitous, if I do say so myself. Um, I don't really want... Uh, actually, yeah. Damn it, I should have gone for rocks. Oh, that's Scarf. Uh, I'll get you there. I do need a way to take out Kiram because if I don't have a way to take out Kiram, I'm basically fucked. Jesus Christ, I hate Gudra. So tanky. Unbelievably tanky. Oh, that was so lucky. That was so friggin' lucky. Got the freeze. In hindsight, I should've just gone with Draco because I would've killed anything he sent in. I don't know why I didn't. Anyways, um, Water Bee Dragon is not totally unbearable because there are typically ways you can deal with it, but it can be extremely difficult. Outrage. Okay. So this is probably Scarfed if I, if I had to uh, decide. So let me just see if I can roost up here. Killing Kiram is going to be the most difficult part of this entire game. Um... And yeah, he's locked now, so I can go ahead and kill it. Once you once you kill Kier oh son of a bitch. Are you fucking serious right now? If I can live this, actually, then I get the sweep. Big time. Let's go, confuse damage, confuse damage, confuse damage, please. Hey, it didn't kill it. That's interesting. Well, the fucking Z Como O though, that's coming right here for sure. Tyrantrum isn't all that great on Dark on Dragon. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Typically, you do want to run something like Dragonite on Dragon. That's more more what you want to do. Waiting, 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 waiting. High Dragon actually isn't that good on Dark either or on Dragon either. Remember, this is pretty low ladder because I keep fucking losing for some reason. But anyways, um, more standard dragon team. Uh, I will... Yeah, we got time for one more match. I will show you guys another dragon match after this is over. Alright, the guy we just played forfeited. Um, honestly, I don't know why, because he had that in the bag. So, let's go with the dragon team. Um, dragon... Dragon's best mega... Dragon's best mega is Mega Ultaria. This is what a more standard dragon team looks like. Um, as you can see here, I got Altaria, Latios, that's Scarf, Dragonite, that can be either banned or Dragon Dance Weakness Policy. I run Dragon Dance Weakness Policy. Life Orb Curum, either Defensive or Focus Sash Garchomp, and one last of your choice. Um, some people, I run uh, Drag Algae because it's worked pretty well, although some people consider that subpar and they run Scarf High Dragon instead. Ooh, looks like I'm on the, looks like I'm on the other side of this matchup this time. So hopefully this will go right. Typically, this matchup is, for obvious reasons, very easy for... Ooh. Ooh, look at that damage. That's that's the primary reason why I very much enjoy running Rocky Helmet Chomp. It just... Yeah. Ice Beam? There it is. Ice Beam, meet Ice Beam. And yeah, he's got... Yeah. Um, some people are probably asking me why do I not have Roost on this. I should really have Roost on this, but... Yeah. Oh well. Supposedly there's some sort of substitute Kieran Black thing that people use. Maybe I should try it. I mean, especially now that I don't have a Z-Crystal on my um, team, because Naganadel got banned. Oh yeah, fucking Naganadel. Naganadel, back in the glory days. I remember those. Those were good days. Extremely good days. I don't know why I didn't just go with Fusion Bolt. 
I mean, he, clearly he was reading something there, but if I had gone with Fusion Bolt, it would have done more damage anyway. Um, interestingly enough, Kieran Black's uninvested attack is higher than max invested special attack. I've always found that kind of interesting. Go and start at the timer real quick. There we go, we read that for sure. Um, he's specs, so I don't, he'll probably want attack. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do. Actually, you know what? I can actually kill anything that comes in with Draco, so let's just see what we can do. If we can get, if we can nuke Pelipper, that would be very good because I don't know why the hell he can switch in right now, Pelipper. But if he does, then Pelipper dies. Ludicolo. It's it's pretty rare actually to see three Swift Swimmers. From what I've seen, I have never seen three Swift Swimmers on the same team before. In general, that's not very. good. Good. I don't know what Ludico was planning. Theoretically, I probably could have gone for the, gone back to uh, Kiram because I'm pretty sure Kiram does a crap ton of damage to Blipper. To quote Smub, um, one of, one of my I guess acquaintances and one of the best monotype players you will ever see, Kiram Black Life Orb is good because it has no safe switches, and for the most part, I have found that to be true. Life Orb Cure in Black is amazing. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, dent whatever comes in. Got him! Adaptability. Stab. Get dicked on. Um, who do I really not need right now? I actually really don't need Latios, if I had to pick one. And uh, if I can lure the... Uh... There it is! There it is! Weakness policy! Thank you! One thousand seven attack. Uh, it still died. Unfortunately, um, I would say my best chance here is obviously to go with this. This actually hits extremely hard, and I really like it. Yep, Mega Altaria for the win. Mega Altaria is by far the best Mega on Dragon because it helps with other dragons. The only problem is that it's very risky to run versus. Is this Scarf? It might be Scarf. He tells me this is probably Scarf. Anyways. You typically don't want to run Mega Latios, you can. Um, you definitely do not ever want to run uh, Mega... What am I trying to say? Whoa, that actually did kind of a lot of damage. You never want to run Mega Garchomp, because Mega Garchomp sucks on all teams except ground. Mega Altari is typically what you want to run to help the Dragon Ditto. Um, you can tell by my nickname there, don't use Outrage. If anyone ever uses Outrage versus your Dragon team, send an Altaria, set up on them. They will feel bad. Now... Shit, I forgot what I was going to say. Yes, it can be bad versus normal. Um, I run Frustration, although higher ladder some um, Dragon teams run... Or sorry, some Dittos run Minimum Happiness. So it's really a mixed bag. But either way, yeah. So I would say that's probably about all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry about some of the play there, um, but what's good nonetheless about these kind of videos is I can talk about my team, talk about the opponent's team, just generally try to, uh, try to educate and entertain because that's what I'm all about. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you. Er, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. You can check the description for my social media links. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord server. Those two are. Those two platforms are how I will distribute notifications of new shit. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Adios.